In the Carolina kitchen today, we're taking most of the work out of making enchiladas. You just pile on the layers and let your crock pot do the rest for you. Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen. Michelle Gerbel, of course, the executive chef over at the Chop House, is back with us. And she has tailored this recipe, it seems like, just for me because she's doing it in a crock pot, my favorite friend. <laughs> Always for you, darling. Um, today, we're doing a crock pot enchilada. And what I have in here is I have ground bison. And this is something new to your restaurant. Yes, and it is leaner than chicken. I actually had to add a little bit of olive oil to this okay. um, ground bison. And then I have um, taco seasoning. And in this bowl, what we're going to do is we're going to add a can of chicken, cream of chicken and a can of cream of mushroom. Or cream of celery if you are like me and don't eat mushroom. Yeah, or like you, you don't eat <laughs> Or cream of onion or cream of something other than cream of mushroom. Or two cans of cream of chicken. Okay, that works too. <laughs> okay. Uh, to that, we're going to add salsa, and then we're going to add the majority of a four blend cheese or Mexican cheese. Okay. With that, we're going to take our crock pot. Oh, can you use any size crock pot? People have different size crock pots. Some yes, are round, is, some are. Yeah, if you, have a, if you have a big family or you're making this for like potluck, uh, you may want to double this recipe. Okay, good yeah. to know. So, then to that. So far, it's super easy. You're going to brown off some beef. Yep. Turkey, chicken, I guess whatever you want. Whatever ground meat you want. Okay. Yeah. Season okay. it here and then make this mixture, okay? Right. Okay, and then you're going to take um, corn tortillas and you're just going to lay those in the crock pot. Okay, and then you're going to start layering it. So you're going to add some meat. This is really easy. Yeah, super, super easy. And then you're going to take your soup salsa cheese mixture. And then that goes over the top of that. And then you're going to do it again. So it's not like the enchiladas that you roll up. It's a casserole. It's like a, a, in just a, a okay, a yeah. casserole in a crock pot. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And it's like super, super simple. So how many times do you typically get this up? Just however many? Yeah. Three? You four. just do it until you use everything up. But you do want to end with the tortilla. On top. Right. And then you're going to cook that. And, and then you're also going to, when, you're, when you have it all done, you have it all layered, you take your cheese, the rest of your cheese, and you put it on top of that. And then you cover it, and then you just let it go. For how long? Um, it just depends on how, like, how soon you want it, but I usually do it for an hour. Okay, so relatively yeah. quick. Yeah. And then on lower high? Um, well, it depends on how fast you need it. Okay. Yeah, so okay. I've even done this in the oven, but I love it in the crock pot. Even easier. Let's get you guys a recipe at home. Go to our website, WLOS.com. Click on the Carolina Kitchen link. That's the fastest way. Or you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville, 28803. Check us out on Pinterest. Layer it in there. Let it go. Go do whatever else you've got to do at home. That's what I like the crock pot for. Michelle, thank you. Thank you. And that's what's cooking in the Carolina Kitchen.